What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So recently I sold my old enclosed trailer. We got a new enclosed trailer. The inside of it's kind of like, what does it look like? It looks like a shed. It does. Looks like you're in the side of like a super basic shed. We have all the pieces that we took out of it. So like we have my tie racks, we have the cabinet, we have totes, the pit pal accessories, and then we have this table. Trailer is actually right there. I have some parts and pieces in my truck, but it's already hooked up to another trailer, which I need to use for a different purpose. So essentially I need to move that trailer over here so we can start working on it, but my truck is currently occupied. I don't want to unhook that trailer, hook up this trailer, hook back up to the other one. So we're gonna hook up to it with something else and see how it toasts. So that right there is a two and five sixteenths ball in the back of this 2015 BMW X5. 35D, this thing has a three liter inline six turbo diesel, eight speed automatic transmission, basically the same tranny that's in like a Dodge pickup truck or a Lamborghini Urus or a BMW, the new Supra, the 8HP. Oh. This is essentially my daily driver for right now. Jamie was driving it for a little bit until we fixed the Explorer. Explorer's now done. I think it's like 27 miles a gallon. I've towed little trailers with it before, but I've never towed that enclosed. Let's and see I, if it tells. I wanna see how it does. Look at that freaking camera, buddy. That, I would love this thing as a tow rig. So this trailer's all aluminum. So technically, like, I, I think it has like a 5,000 pound tow rating. Trailer weighs like three. So if I put like a Civic in there, it might, we'd be at the max capacity. Right there, yeah. You break? Let's see. We need to get a visual of how high it is right now and then see how much of a squat it gets in. Okay, so the four. Wow. It's actually not bad, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, it didn't squat very much at all. That aluminum, aluminum. Well, we'll see. I have full confidence. Oh yeah. No worries, buddy. You're good. Look at them skills. What a unit. So she does indeed tow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Such a big trailer. Oh, there, pal. That's a comically big trailer for how small this thing is. It tows great. Does it? Like it fit, like power wise is fine. I think stopping would, if there was a car and you were moving pretty quick, you definitely need a trailer brake controller to like do that. But I mean, it feels fine. It, I towed a flat trailer with it. Yeah. Like my, basically that trailer that we have out there, and it felt heavier than this does mm -hmm. with the aluminum and the, I bet in some wind it would be sketchy, but let's uh, pull around and get in the shop and start, start fixing it. All right, so the X5 actually tows pretty decent. We got this thing all disconnected. I don't know if I would trust it to like take a car from here to Florida. Yeah, I don't know about that. But like if it was like, we we're gonna drive like 10 minutes with a car in it maybe on a non-windy day, I might do it. It was kind of cool. Honestly, the power was fine. Like in that eight speed tranny, the way it like shifts and splits gears, I just put it in sport mode, which is basically towing mode. We got the trailer unhooked over here. Take a look at the inside of this. Thing. So the inside of this thing, it's basically brand new. It's kind of basic though. As you can see, we just got like the wood walls. There's no E-track, there's no nothing. You can't really tie anything down. In the last video, we put the D-rings in it. But in this video, we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff. But before we get started on like painting the inside and doing some lighting upgrades and all that other stuff, I'm actually really hungry. And that's a great time to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Factor. This is Factor. Factor is a meal delivery service that makes clean eating easy. Their fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and delivered right to your doorstep. So we're kind of in the middle of nowhere out here at the shop and it's tough to eat healthy and getting takeout really isn't an option. Going to the grocery store before we come to the shop, I just, I don't take the time to do that. So it is nice to have a service just like this to where the food just gets delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip the trip to the grocery store. Their meals are pretty much ready in less than two minutes. So all you gotta do is grab one of these things, pop that guy off. Make sure you pop two holes in this thing. Throw it in there, hit two. Oh, oh, oh. What are we gonna do for two minutes now? With 34 weekly options, there is always something new to try. Whether you're being calorie conscious, you're on a keto diet or anything like that, you need an extra boost of energy, Factor has something for you. Oh, that smells good, buddy. So we're cooking one for Charles right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a test. This is their barbecue pulled pork. 
It smells amazing. It, it looks, looks amazing too. too. Look yeah. at that. Mix it up. It's hard to believe that this all just gets shipped right to your door. It just shows up. Little taste test, see how this is? Oh, that's good. It's like you just went to a barbecue pit. So the factor there is always something new to try. You can supplement your meals with 45 plus add-ons, including breakfast items, beverages like juices, shakes, also cookies, and one of my favorites, smoothies. Charles, why don't we open up yours and I'm see down. how uh, see how that guy looks? I don't know if I'm gonna trade you for this. Parmesan chicken with buttered broccoli, man. That oh. All right, let's see. Let's see your test. Let's see your the review. Taste test. Got a little chicken here. Get a little bit of the cheese on there. Yeah, let's see. Whoa. That's actually really, really good. Like way better than I was expecting. This may get Factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Simply head to factor75.com or click the link below this video and use the code MotionAutoTV40 to get 40% off your first box. So huge shout out to Factor for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate them for the support on the channel. Now let's get back to working on this trailer. In the trailer, this is the paint that we have. High gloss, glass-like durable finish. That's, that's the favorite part. So normally when you get a race car version of this trailer, it's like a gloss white because it's aluminum just like the outside. So that's the way, you know, that's how they finish them. That nice gloss, and that's what I want. So I'm gonna try to do that with paint, but that is not like a paint and primer. So I got this primer right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the primer first. I have an 18 inch roller on this little brush. So I'll go around the edges and kind of touch up some of that stuff. One of the other things that I'm pretty excited about is I built basically a kit. I seen a video online, I believe it was from D-Max Rhino where they took a Milwaukee battery and used that to actually power the lights in the trailer and they did interior and exterior lights. So I basically built a whole kit on Amazon with that. So I have this little electrical box, a fuse panel, some interior, exterior lights. And so in this video, we're also gonna do that. But before we do that, I'm gonna paint the inside. I decided I was gonna caulk it real quick. These edges on the doors, I like that little trim piece. I feel like it, it just needs to kind of, you know, look a little bit better. Once the paint is in here, you won't see those gaps. Because if there is a gap, obviously a white wall, and you have a black gap, so it'll make it look poopy. But if you fill in that, that gap, all the paint gets in there, it looks nice. This thing had caulking in it from the factory, and then other than that, nothing else had caulking. So. What are you doing? Oh yeah, what is that? New toy. Okay. And then there's a little guy. Oh yeah, that's nice. It take time for them kids, you know? That's the future. It is. Kids are the future right there. All right, so it's the next day. The primer has dried and it kind of, I wish it like filled in the cracks a little bit more, you know, like the texture. I wish there was a yeah. way to like slick it, you know? Cause I don't, I don't want like textured, like, you know, like. I mean, I guess you like, could put body filler on it, no? Oh, we're, we're, skim it with the whole this is supposed to be like a one day trailer thing not like a freaking 10 day trailer thing i was gonna start masking it but we're actually gonna be doing some lighting upgrades with some wiring and this is like a nice little channel up there in order to be able to run the wires figure instead of masking it and then having to take it down might as well pull it off and then we should be able to paint it right up past it and then just tuck the wires stick it back up in there and it'll look beautiful they already did wiring and look at their Look at their how they used it. Oh, yeah. They used alu oh. aluminum tape. Dude, we could do so much better. Look at those welds. We could, we could definitely do some better. I think welds. you could do better than that. Uh, Garrett definitely could. Garrett already did. You know, like stack some dimes on top of that. Yeah, just we were just talking about you. All bad, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, all good, actually. <laughs> we need you to re weld the trailer hey, for actually, us. First, before we look at this, what do you think of the GTR? Oh yeah. my god. Of course, I haven't seen it all together. And on the ground, that's the big thing. I haven't seen it on the ground with yeah. the wheels. It was funny, oh. like, I was so busy, I put it on the ground and I didn't even, like, look at the wheels. And then I got back, it's like, oh, actually, wow. 
These wheels look pretty good. <laughs> it ties it all together. It's yeah. amazing. Uh, what do you think of them They're right here? Oh, it's glued together. <laughs> look at this one right there. That looks like they, they brought in the pigeon. Wow. That the bad pigeon. thing about aluminum is if you give it the opportunity, it'll fatigue. You know, if it gives any kind of ability to like move a little bit yeah. and then like problems get bigger. I mean, it's just weird they did it right there, but not here. It's overkill and overkill is never a bad thing. I'm guaranteeing they have these things engineered and stress tested and the whole nine. Whether it's in like CAD and they're doing it or they have it like physically tested, I, I'm sure it's safe. It's just one of those eyesore things, you know? You, uh -huh. you do so much really well, detailed welding. It's gonna get covered up. Yeah. I was thinking I should maybe add some of that foam board insulation to keep okay. some of the heat. Okay. You know, cause like, like during the summer, it's gonna be a little bit warmer in here. And then I wanna cover the roof too. Cause I, th I, I don't like the exposed trusses. Sure. Yeah. I think it would look a lot cooler like that. Cause I, this is gonna be my trailer. Also, the, the nighttime trailer. Yeah, the next, tra the next trailer video you guys are gonna see, we actually ordered some rubber coin flooring so like the a race car the race car stuff so it'll be a black rubber coin floor we were gonna do an epoxy but i was like you know what like this is i want this to be the trailer that this is gonna be the trailer <laughs> so tell a better trailer comes along tell a better trailer comes <laughs> along you never know but i'm excited for the lighting upgrades so oh, yeah. i'm gonna start i'm gonna finish priming this uh side right here and then uh i'm gonna start fixing again So we're all done with priming. I did not think, I thought it was gonna take me like an hour, maybe to like prime the whole trailer, tape it off, do all that stuff. I was wrong. Uh, I spent like two and a half hours on it yesterday. Well, maybe two hours yesterday. And then today I spent like another hour. We've been doing some other things. I uh, was cutting in. So basically we are done with the primer and now we're getting ready to paint. And the whole time I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know what, I paint cars. Like that's what I do, I paint cars with a sprayer. So I had this thing from a, like a dip your car kit that, I acquired, and uh, this is an air compressor, and then you pour your paint in here, and then you go So I think maybe we're gonna spray now. A couple of you guys might have noticed that the R35 is actually missing its wing. So uh, Garrett came back today. We pretty much finished the car. It was at four in the morning. Yeah, and then I, I left at 3.30, you were around tying up loose ends, but yeah, yeah. So 4.30 or 4 o'clock, yeah. I went home, got some sleep. The launch day of the giveaway, we woke up at like eight. We came here, took some pictures, got them on the website. One of the things that is missing is the wing. Uh, so Garrett came here today and he's wrapping the wing in it. We're actually gonna do, are we gonna do the black inlay? We are. I, right now, I figured we get everything in the, the color match just to get it done. And then I can do the inlay after mm -hmm. on the car. It's pretty easy at that point. Yeah. But anyhow, the, the ring, the wing is getting done and we're gonna put it on there. We got a couple of loose ends to button up with that. We also might be traveling across the country right now, but that's a whole other conversation in another video. I just wanna get this trailer done and uh, I'm stoked for it, but I'm, I'm gonna be stoked if this works. So should we plug, I wanna plug it in. I just wanna see what this thing's capabilities are. Should we just put the paint in there and see what it does? I think it just sprays and then you just give it paint. I mean, it makes sense because it's just, airflow uh, we initially rolled it and we said you know what not fun uh, we tried spraying it it's too thick we watered it down sprays pretty good but it gets over spray on everything <laughs> so, like literally. everything it literally sprays on everything but it's going a lot faster now that we watered it down so I feel like 20 minutes it'll take them to mask this thing properly will save us time when it goes to actually like I'll, then I'll just literally load the gun <laughs> And then like one coat, it gets in all the cracks, all the crevices, it's nice, even. Let's do, we're doing that. So the interior is finished painting. I'm a little bit out of breath because I've just been running around. But the walls look really, really good. A little bit of sloppiness on my part, you know? I mean, obviously hitting these little edges, stuff like that, and you know, getting a little paint on the floor. Should be able to pretty much wipe all that stuff up. And I do want to cover the roof with something else in the future. And that rubber coin floor on the bottom is just gonna be, be so nice. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna run home. Uh, I'm gonna bring the trailer with me. It's date night with Jamie and I, I can't miss that. It's time to go for the day. Uh, but later tonight, I'm actually gonna do the wiring for the lights. Show you that whole process to hook it up with a Milwaukee drill battery. And I'm just gonna do that at my house. And the cool thing about that is, is it'll actually be nighttime. So that way I'll be able to show you guys what the lights look like at night. Pretty stoked on the way this whole thing is, uh, is turning out so far, but the floor, we were gonna epoxy it, but I think rubber coin is gonna look a lot better. It's just gonna make it feel, you know, it's like going into like, like a house, that, like a basement with concrete, you know, versus a basement with like a nice carpet, you know, like that's, that's what the rubber coin floor does to an enclosed trailer. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing loaded up with all the things that I need. I'll see you guys at my house later tonight. All right, so we are back in my house. We had a successful date night. If you guys have kids and uh, you know a wife, a girlfriend, all that other stuff, highly recommend a once a week date night. I'm very fortunate my dad lives close. He's able to just come over here, kind of watch the kids for a little while. And me and Jamie, we can go out eat, we can go out with friends, we can do whatever, and it's really nice. So it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm in my driveway messing with the trailer, but it's already so much brighter in here just because of the walls, you know, having it all like this. So this is everything that I told you that I got earlier. We have this little breaker box, fuse panel type of electrical box, a switch panel right here, which this has, it's a three gang switch panel, and it also has a voltmeter and USBs. We have a dimmer switch. We have a low voltage disconnect because if you run these, oh, oh hoo -hoo, if you run these Milwaukee batteries, down low it they actually won't charge and it'll throw codes on there so you have to shut them off at a certain voltage uh, the dimmer is for the interior lights so that way if we are working or you know you let's say we decide to sleep in the trailer or something that we don't have to you know have them on full blast because probably gonna be pretty bright in there uh, we have a little fuse box we have these little kind of scotch connect type things which uh, these are going to go with our wiring we have exterior lighting and then we have these four interior lights so we're going to have three exterior lights four interior lights we're going to have a usb port for the inside and we're going to have a dimmer i'm going to go ahead and start laying out uh, the fuse box and getting everything all wired up in here then we should be good to start running some of the wires uh, again i'm just going to be using this wiring right here which is basically two strands and the way that it actually works is really good. I'll show you guys that quick over there on the bench. Everything that I got in this video is actually in a Amazon link or an Amazon card. Jamie, how's the Explorer doing? You yeah. like it? Fast. Jamie actually got a speeding ticket Fast. in this thing the other day. <laughs> so, and I put a cold air intake on it. So now it sneezes, it makes blow off valve noises and uh, she really enjoys that. And over here, this is my kind of side of the garage. We got some custom cornhole boards. This is actually the toolbox that used to be at my dad's house. This bench was already in here when we moved into this house and we got this uh, weight set with a little bit of dust on it. It's actually interesting, I could park the F-250 in here because this is kind of the long side. I always go back to it, I'm like, man, if I ever had to, I could literally come and work out of my garage if I need to. Here's those little scotch lock connect things, but we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get ripping. So there had only been a couple minutes before I realized that I didn't have enough stuff. So I literally, it was 1040. I had very little time to run to the local Walmart. So I got there with 10 minutes to spare and I got some D, some ring terminals just to go on here because these are all ring terminals. I needed something to cut a hole in a box and I don't have a Dremel or anything here, but I do have a drill. So I just went ahead and I got a little, a little cutting kit for Dremel, but that should go in there and I should be able to, you know, cut a nice little hole in here. I got some cable ties, some like self-drilling screws and some machine screws. Literally, they were mad. I wish I would have filmed it. This is when we need like a body camera, or, like some spy glasses. Cause I got there and the guy at the door was like, we're closed up. And I was like, uh, we got 10 minutes. He's like, you better make it fast. I got in there and I literally had like somebody like babysitting me when I was in there and they were like, all right, you gotta go. And they're like, if you don't check out before 10 o'clock, you won't be able to check out. So I literally got a cart and I was using it as a scooter, like kicking, like, you know, cause you gotta go in the grocery section and then you gotta go all the way to the back corner of the automotive and there's boxes and people everywhere. So if you work at Walmart, apologize, but um, I'm glad that at least they're open until 11. They used to be open until freaking 10 and that sucked. Gonna get this thing mounted right here. Gonna cut a hole for that guy. And then I need to mount this right in here some way. And then I need to do this in here somehow. So we, we got a couple things that we need to get figured out, but we're gonna get it done. So 
mounted, mounted, dimmer switch is mounted. Next thing that I need to do is basically mount the little fuse box inside of here and this low voltage disconnect. You could wire this two different ways. So we could run this basically in between here. So all of the power will go through here out of the Milwaukee battery. This thing has a little LCD screen on it and it will technically kill the battery if it runs through that. So what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to probably the first switch to essentially make everything live. Since I already have an extra switch right here with a dimmer, I'm gonna use that to run the inside trailer lights. You know, that'll keep it clean. That way I could keep a Milwaukee battery on here the whole time. I don't have to worry about it like killing it or, you know, doing that. On, everything is on. And then I will turn on the switch. And then that way, like, let's say I, I just have everything on. And I, I, I like the voltage that I have right there. Then I could just, bam, on, off, on, off. That will technically always stay on. At that point, I'm like outside lights, rear lights, done. Kind of cleans up the setup and it gives us a space right here on this little edge. So now the next thing I need to do, wire in this low voltage disconnect. All right, so made some good progress. It's definitely confusing at first trying to figure out how to do this. So out of the 12 volt or out of the 18 volt Milwaukee, it comes out of there through this 30 amp fuse over to this switch. So this switch gives power to this guy right here, which is the low voltage disconnect and out of the low voltage disconnect, power comes out of this little pink wire over here to this, which this kind of jumps and gives power to the rest of the things. Right now is essentially only the one because I broke, I broke one of these things. They were like super tight. So we only have one switch technically right here. Well, actually we have two, the one to turn on everything. And then we have the dimmer switch right here, which the dimmer switch basically, as soon as you turn on main power, it gets power. So we'll go ahead and we will flip this first guy right here and you can see now that turns on all the voltages and everything so you can see we have 19.2 volts and then if we go ahead and we flip this that is our dimmer so you can see how so it goes bright or super dim so, so turn it off you can see it double checks the voltage before the relay actually uh oh uh oh we might have messed up a light. <laughs> Jacking around with this thing. That's essentially it. A little bit confusing at first, but we got it figured out. Maybe this thing's okay, maybe it's not. Need to get another dimmer switch, but I can still get this thing hooked up tonight and uh, see how it looks. actually kind of have to hurry if we want to show you guys the rest of this thing because it's three in the morning and I think the sun comes up a little bit sooner than that but this thing is making everything mad so bam check that out I did this one in the front because I figured the cabinets and stuff will mostly be right here that one I kind of want to put another one like right here because that's about the perfect spot to add one right here. So I think I might order some more. Yeah, everything uh, looks good. You could actually turn these off individually too. So like, let's say if I know that we're gonna be running it for a little while, just up here, it's like, bam, there you go. Just turn it off. Uh, you can also see we have the voltage right here. And then on the inside, we have that little guy right there that's kind of showing us the voltage and we'll program this to drop off about 16 volts or so. But I kind of decided to mount it right here I figure I was gonna do it over here, but if it's like a quick stick your head inside the trailer, open the door, click it versus open the door all the way and then reach over here. Pretty happy with that. It is cool to, that the little thing works, but I need to get the dimmer to work because that would be better. It is pretty cool that we have uh, the option now. And again, with the whole Milwaukee battery thing, that's pretty nice. And then the USBs, then you could just run like a little thing and. You can even stick your phone up there on the top or something and work out really good. So the next thing that we need to do is the outside light. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the loading light here in the back. I don't know if I'm gonna stick it right here in between those lights. 
because that's kind of centered or maybe off to the side a little bit should still cast a decent amount of light but wherever it actually looks like there's going to be easy wiring and uh, I think all this stuff should be pretty easy. wired up so keep these on inside so that's pretty decent Let's see Come from outside also you can see how dark it is outside side lights and that gives us outside in the one in the back I went ahead and I just wired the one in the back all together. I actually didn't have that switch because I, I burnt the switch up or actually broke the tabs on the switch. It seems like the low voltage disconnect is not really working so I went ahead and just gave it the bypass but at least I have the little voltage meter right there to kind of double check. Once I get these you know the light switches back on that and then I should have should be good for you know the inside lights the outside lights all that stuff so pretty uh Pretty serious, I could go ahead, let me turn these all off. I just wanna turn on the outs, outsides by itself. That's really nice. Not the craziest of light, but I mean, there's, there you could see everything. I'd say decent overall. There's kind of a weird shadow right there, but you could see everything. So, pretty stoked on that. Got all of the trim and everything hooked back up, kind of cleaned up the wiring a little bit. I need to get a couple more little things in order to attach the wires and clean it up a little bit more to the ceiling. But overall, I am pretty stoked for this whole process. It just, it looks like uh, we got something like ticking, you know, over here. One of the main reasons that I did this in the first place is because the only way in order to get lights actually on in the trailer is to have my truck running. So uh, the way that normal, like a lot of these trailers are wired now is that a truck has to be running in order for the light. Actually, let's just fire this thing up. So that way we can show you guys what it actually looks like. The truck actually doesn't have to be completely running, but key has to be on. Ignition has to be on, which turns on the running lights, which turns on all the other lights. We'll go ahead and we'll turn off these lights and then we'll turn on these lights versus these lights. It's a pretty big difference. So even these lights were an improvement over the last lights in my last trailer. So you could honestly see some, you know, decent amount of stuff. Bam, you whack these guys on and it's just a night and day difference. Can't wait to get the floor in here. If you guys have not got entered for a chance to win the R35 GTR, it ends at the end of the month, but this week only we are doing 30 times entries, so that ends Sunday night. So uh, be sure to grab your entries before the 30 times entries end. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, thanks Factor for sponsoring this video. See you guys in the next one.